Happy New Year again! May you have a great New Year with you and your family. And today we're going to find out what do people secretly admire about you but won't say, alright? It's a very interesting topic. Now in front of you there are three beautiful pictures. Using your intuition, please pick the first picture that comes into your mind. Now please remember you are welcome to pick other group for additional messages. I'm gonna do pick a card reading but also long distance viewing based on the image and the vibration of the image that you picked today. I'll see you on your reading. Hi group number one, welcome back to my channel with me Tatcha. Today we're going to find out what do people secretly admire about you but won't say. Uh, please know that this is just general reading so please take what resonates. But if you want private reading just for you, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. Please, what do people secretly admire about group number one? Please. What do people secretly admire about group number one but one say? Chang Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You got Chang Oh and Yayoloro Kido. I mean, even the image that you pick, you know, the intention that I set um for that specific image for group number one. I feel that people secretly admire your appearances, honestly, you know. Um, they just love how you really carry yourself really well, you know. Um, the way you put your makeup on, um, I hear your eyebrow, your lipstick, your lips, you know. So that's the thing that people probably secretly admire about you but won't say. So this is for all the things that people secretly admire you. But for um, for for a reason, they just don't say it to you. They just don't let you know or they just keep it to themselves, all right? For whatever reason that they have in their mind. But I feel people secretly admire your eyebrows. You know, probably your eyebrows are on point or it's beautiful and your lipstick, your lipstick color is beautiful or even your lip shape is just very beautiful. I think for some of you, you truly have these sexy lips um, and people probably secretly admire it. But of course, they won't say this. All right. Now, people secretly admire also group number one, um, the way you are very romantic at heart. So maybe from your fashion choice um the way you would talk uh, your voice is very soothing um and also the way you move you know people secretly admire that but of course they won't say that to you now with chang oh this is divine feminine this is very um match with your energy group number 1 um, this is Chang Oh is the goddess from Chinese, so the Chinese goddess. People secretly admire um, your ability to be very nurturing. You know, you're very feminine. You have that divine feminine power. So people are just mesmerizing and they just admire your feminine energy. Maybe the way you talk, the way you move, the way you style yourself. Your style is very feminine absolutely feminine for this group regardless of your gender and regardless for your uh, of your age you know there's this feminine energy and it's very powerful a very potent divine feminine power goddess of the moon chang o appears before people to grant their innermost wishes and answer their question look within yourself group number one and indulge in some yin or feminine practices activities like spending time alone journaling or taking a bath to hear her answers so beside that you know people secretly admire how you treat yourself you take your sweet time to relax uh, to pamper yourself to enjoy your own life um, you have that um, outlook 
that is very feminine. So the way you see the world is very feminine. Now, it's probably you also have a very strong masculine energy. It means that you have almost balanced energy between masculine and feminine. But I feel that um, you are very feminine for this group. So people admire your feminine energy, your feminine look, your feminine... Uh, style and the way you carry yourself i also feel that with this frog and rabbit and also the picture that you pick the image that you pick it has cat there people secretly admire that you are very witty you have that witty personality very fun and very playful people also secretly admire how you are very nice or being very kind with animal with pets and with nature you know and you just look very graceful you look very graceful and people secretly admire that about you but of course they won't say now with nyai loro kiro here i feel that you're very creative people secretly admire your creativity the way you solve your own problems the way that you move you're very sexy here very seductive so that's what also people secretly admire about you but they won't say you have that magnetic personality and very charming you probably have a very strong water element in your birth chart. If not very strong, at least you have an influence from the water element. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or even with Divine Feminine, I feel that you have an earth element or fire element. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel that with Chang or coming in conjunction with Nyai Loro Kido, people secretly admire the way you incorporate your own style with what society wants you to be or what is the norm the look in society what is accepted in society mixed with your own unique style i feel that people even take notes of your style take notes of your uh, clothing choices of your accessories choices your makeup the way you walk the way you post on social media or just the way you influence people unconsciously they take notes all right they take inspiration in you you have also here the poet people secretly admire your artistic energy the way you express yourself is very beautiful you have a connection with words you have a way about you to express yourself fully with words and i also feel that you know with relationships I feel that people secretly admire how you can attract, um, you know, your opposite um, sex or same sex depends on your romantic preferences to you. You know, you attracting people that has this romantic interest and, you know, you're someone that is willing to be vulnerable. People secretly admire your courageous nature. You are being very brave to be vulnerable, to let other people know how you feel or to let other people know how they make you feel. You know, and I also feel also with the poet, people secretly admire how you are a great potential partner. You're very loyal, group number one. So people admire your loyalty. But of course, they won't say this. Maybe you are such a loyal friend. People can truly know that you are very trustworthy. And at least they probably secretly admire you as a crush. Maybe this is romantic interest. All right. Um, or not secret anymore as they already probably become your spouse or used to be your spouse and they still secretly admire how you actually have what it takes to be a great romantic partner. What do people secretly admire about group number one but want to say? You have a new beginning. It seems that group number one, you're starting this year with a really great start. You're embarking on this new cycle, new beginning. Some of you just giving birth to a new project or a baby or you are pregnant or you're still building or cooking your project. You're planning your project right now. And I also feel with this new beginning and also define feminine, you know, you're very creative. You can create something out of nothing. You can spark the inspiration from people um, you can truly ignite that spark in people and I feel that you know um, you're someone that is such a joy to be around um, you got something new in your life or something new is about to come into your life new connection new relationship 
new abundance, um, new project, new creation, new group of people, um, new family member or something else, um, um, you know, or your, your new manifestation. I feel that people secretly admire your ability to create, to produce, to make something, all right? And like the creation itself require that divine feminine energy, divine feminine power group number one. What do people secretly admire about group number one but want to say? You have a safe home. I feel that people secretly admire how you are very safe to be around you make other people feel safe around you i think you're very trustworthy you're someone that keeping other people secret um you are a great friend or a great a loyal friend yeah um and i feel also this is green this is green i feel there is this grounded energy about you that make other people even um, believe in you or rely on you and you are so reliable for people i also feel that safety now is beyond doubt yeah there is no doubt um, about feeling safe around you so people absolutely admire that about you but of course they want to say this passion you're very passionate you are probably 39 years old or 11 uh, born on the 11th day of the month or in november or 11 11 39 39 could be your angel numbers people secretly admire your sexy nature your passion when you love something the whole world gonna know from your expression especially when you decided to pour that love that passion into creative project into a product into services into your work and when you do your work with your heart people can see it people can feel it regardless whatever it is it doesn't have to be an art because you can work about science you know mathematics um, law politics you know corporate job but you're doing it with a joyful heart and people can truly see that you're truly enjoying what you're doing you truly love it you know if you don't like crazy love it at least you truly find peace and content in doing it all right but your patient truly help you pursue and get that rewards, get that achievement and make you can survive whenever you feel like the hope is gone. You know, that passion will be the fire to fuel your energy, you know, for you to be actually be the winner. All right. It's very interesting. What do people secretly admire about group number one but want to say? One, two, three. Let me put it here. All right. You have here the seven of air. You're very careful. You're very careful as a person. You're not trusting people easily and people admire that. It seems like once you trust them, they earned it. You know, they truly realize that they earned your trust. And you truly being very aware of your surrounding, being very cautious. Um, and yeah, people just admire when you trust them. Okay, or when you put them in your inner circle, it's a privilege to be in your inner circle because you know that trust is earned and not everyone think like that. But people admire that when you trusted them to be your inner, uh, to be as uh, to be inside your inner circle or just trust them as a whole. Seven of Earth. So seven, seven, seven absolutely could be your angel numbers. All right. People secretly admire your work ethic, the way you work, the way you invest in yourself. You love investing in yourself in the way you look, your clothing, your brain, your information, um, education, you know, something else. Um, and you, you're very patient. Honestly, you've probably been through a lot and you still find joy in doing that. You still find joy in pursuing that. And people just find you to be very patient and they admire that. And you also have six of water. I mean, look at this. This is six of cups. People admire how you are being very kind, even though you are being far away with the people that you grew up with. Maybe with your family, uh, with your childhood friends, a schoolmate, you know. You probably already moved out of town, out of country, out of state, but you still treated them with kindness. So people just live with their nostalgia about you and still find you to be very humble, to be very friendly. And they kind of like you. They're going to like you, group number 
one. They admire your friendship. So that's the thing, you know, even to strangers, even to the people that you haven't met, maybe online connection, online people, maybe you are a content creator, you create that sense of friendship, you know, that sense of friendliness. And people love that. What do people secretly admire about group number one but one same? Okay. You have here the transformation. People love how you are changing, how you change the way you look, your perspective. There's this transition energy that you carried from past life to now, and now you becoming in your own full power, you know, and truly transform your own soul here. You have here six of swords. Yes, people love or secretly admire how you not forcing people into connection with you, how you are being very um, freedom lover. You always let other people be free and let go some connection that just not work out well in your life. And in return, people get that sense of freedom and they want to be near you because you have that sense of detachment. You're not being very needy, okay? You're not uh, being very needy to people and you let them be, be free, but they love coming back. Or for the people that love you or your secret admirer or your crush, you know? Um, Eight of Swords, yes. People secretly admire how you liberate yourself from your own limiting belief. All right, so your own perspective, they just admire how you truly change from who you were a long time ago. And it's something that very joyful to see how you uh, responded into certain things in the past to how you respond to the things um, how, uh, right now. You know, it's so much different. And it just gives sense of like, you know, you're changing. You're changing group number one. What do people secretly admire about you, group number one, but want to say? Mother. Again, this is talking about um, feminine power. Defend feminine power. Some of you are a mother or a single parent, a father acting also like a mother or you are a mother or you about to be a mother or you will be a mother in the future. Regardless whether you are a mother or not, you have a feminine energy inside of you. People can feel that you're being very caring, that you're nurturing and they love it. They admire you for it. A goddess. I mean, look at this. You're very sexy. This is again talking about feminine. All right. The feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force and sensuality we talked about this earlier all right we talked about this earlier this reading is pretty accurate for you group number one letting me know that truly the feminine power is one of the things that people truly admire about you but of course they won't say this due to their own reasons i'm not sure why you know i can read it for another video but this reading is just focusing on what do people secretly admire about you but won't say you are the goddess you are such a goddess you have that goddess royal sensual energy very beautiful you are very magnetic and people just love looking at you being around you and you know um have this connection with you all right group number one all right group number one that's your reading for today please give me thumbs up please like this video if you love this content please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family happy new year again may you have a great new year um and have a great day all right i'm so glad i can accompany you guys with my video um it's a pleasure and it's so fun and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye bye hi group number two welcome back to my channel with me princess taicha and today we're going to find out what do people secretly admire about you but won't say. Alright, please know that this is just general reading, so please take what resonates. And also, if you want private reading, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. What do people secretly admire about group number two but won't say? Please, what do people secretly admire about group number two but won't say? You have the muses, inspiration. Yeah. Wow. And you have also have Freya, boldness. Yes. So before I, you know, enter, um, sorry, before I start my video, you know, I always set the intention for every timestamps, every picture, every image, every cards that I use. Um, and so then based on the group that you picked today, group number two, 
I feel that people secretly admire your independence, but they won't say this due to so many reasons or whatever reasons that people um, got in their mind. Um, they might not say this to you. So you are someone that is good to be alone and you are also good in the group. Your sense of independence is very strong. People secretly admire how you truly can stand up for yourself. You choose the thing that you want to do for your life. And you have a way about you to express yourself independently, freely, voluntarily, and very genuinely. You know, so that's the thing that people secretly admire about you. Maybe the way you talk, the way you express yourself, the way you um, sharing your opinion about social cause, social justice, or just the way you carry yourself the way you put your makeup on, your appearances, um, and also your project, your job, you know, your creation, your online content. It's all full of orig originality, very authentic. People secretly admire your authenticity, you know, so that's one of the things from the vibrations of this group, group number two, that I got uh, with the image that you pick today or the group that you pick today. Now, with this, the muses... The muses is the Greek goddess, you know, the Greek muses are planting sparks all around you. So you're very sparkling. You're very romantic, very creative. Some of you love playing musical instrument. This is also related to art, beauty, um, creative project, creative thinking, online content, very entertaining. You're very entertaining. So people secretly admire your attitude in which you love entertaining people. People feel very entertained with your witty, bubbly personality, with your creative ideas, creative project and you're someone that can find inspiration around you everywhere you go it doesn't matter where you go so that's the thing that people secretly admire about you group number two i feel that because of your own independence the way you think is much different than other people out there all right you have your own unique ideas belief principle and morals it's probably different from your family it's probably different from your own spiritual belief or religion you are an independent thinker here you know you're really smart and intelligent probably some of you have a very strong mercury because mercury is about the way you think the way you speak the way you process information and i feel that you're mercury probably in air sign aquarius gemini libra or in fire sign aries leo sagittarius all right if not then that's okay just take the the reading as resonance as this is just a general reading group number two with the muses here people secretly admire your sense of drama, you know, you make things so spicy, you can bring drama, bring color, um, you know, bring new perspective, bring the fresh energy into connection. I just feel that with this group, you know, people secretly admire you from head to toe. You can come into the room and impress the room. You bring that new sense of power, that entertaining power. Someone that know their power. You are very powerful. Some of you probably truly have this um, powerful voice or influential voice without you even realizing it. Maybe unconsciously, you influence people. You make them feel safe. You make them feel accepted. You are a really great uh, motivator as well someone that um, can entertain people so a content creator an entertainer um, someone that love giving performance someone just love with art music entertainment drama you know poetry um, or other things it's basically inspiration everywhere you can even find inspiration in the market you know in the traditional market everywhere basically everywhere so you are very genius and very creative so people secretly admire your mind maybe you also have beautiful hair your hair color is very beautiful you have a beautiful style here so people secretly admire that about you now with freya you know sometimes you take risk that other people wish they could take in their life but then because you're very blessed because you're very lucky you know um 
even your detour becoming very potent, very important for you to fulfill your destiny. You are very bold. People secretly admire your courageous nature, your brave energy to at least be very independent and speak up what you need to speak or stand up for yourself. You know, you are someone that is not at all, not rude at all. But for some reason, people just cannot walk over you. You know, you have your own feminine energy, you have your own, own masculine energy. But the thing about you is you're very soft, actually. You have a soft heart, group number two, all right? People secretly admire your soft heart. You're very bold. This is the Norse goddess, Freya. Very playful because goddess of love and ruler of her war and death. Freya is a playful goddess, you know? And... You're someone that will play big and be very successful. Meaning that you're one of the rare people that will achieve one of your childhood dreams. One of your ambition here. You're going to play big here. A big player. In the sense that you play about manifesting your desire. All right, About being happy in the world. And truly enjoying and expressing yourself. And truly live your life to the fullest. That's how I feel. Group number two. All right, You also have here the adventure. Isn't it very strong? <laughs> All right. You're someone that is very hard to guess. People cannot guess you. You are very um, interesting. You have a lot to share to people, your own experiences, your travel story. You love adventure and people secretly admire that you are someone that understand your own responsibility. You're someone that can achieve um, the high expectation. Someone that probably have your own laid back energy. You love being lazy, but also know your responsibility. So I feel that there's this um, laid back personality and also being very responsible person that people admire um, about you but they won't say maybe this is people that um, work together with you all right or went to school together with you or your spouse or other people they feel that you help them you're a helpful person you know your responsibility you fulfill it um, you try to fulfill your promise but you also know how to have fun how to just you know being relaxed you know it so well group number two all right. What do people secretly admire about group number two but won't say, please? Magical blessings. I feel that you are very spiritual. Group number two, people secretly admire your connection with spirituality. Uh, maybe you're very religious, you have religion, or you have your own spiritual belief. Or if you don't have religion or spiritual belief, you believe in a higher power. If not, then you're very, you're very helpful person. With magical blessings, people secretly admire how you manifest your dreams into reality, how you make your dreams come true. If not, then how you truly being very grateful with what you have right now while you're still trying to get what you want. People secretly admire your joyful energy because uh, being happy, being grateful is one of the secret to attract abundance, to attract miracles, to attract good things in your life. Whatever you're going through, people secretly admire how how your attitude is very joyful because you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings or angel blessings. You know, the fairies or the, or the angels say you can bless others too. So when you are being blessed with resources, with money, with abundance, you always share it with the people that you love. You always share it with the people that need you. Even just words of motivation, kindness, it's all free sometimes, you know. It doesn't cost expensive to be kind. And you really know that so well. People secretly admire how positive you bring into connection that they have friendship, business, romantic, online connection, community, collective. You have your own positive energy. Don't let other people tell you otherwise. Group number two, all right? What do people secretly admire about group number two but one say? You have here prosperity again, let me tell you. Ooh. 
that's very abundance that's very abundance this reading is pretty accurate group number two letting me know that when you are being blessed you can bless people 333 three, three could be your angel numbers 33 33 three, three, or number three could be your angel number some of you born on the third day of the month or in march prosperity is absolutely on your way yes i claim this reading as well for me as this tree grows so strong so fine so may i prosper from the universal divine people just love how you have this positive connection, positive energy, positive outlook about prosperity. You're being very grateful with whatever that you have right now because that's very subjective. And in return, you always find a way to attract prosperity to you. You look very abundant, my dear group number two. People secretly admire that. Maybe you look very sophisticated, you look very expensive, and you might not have that all the money yet, but you will. You will attract it. You have it. Money comes easily to me. Abundance comes easily to me. Prosperity comes easily to me. I'm rich. I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I'm gorgeous. I deserve all the good things that comes into my life and all the good things that is on the way to me and all the good things that is happening in my life right now. Okay, say that good words to you. Say that positive energy to you. Um, have faith in that joy. Wow, number 16. Some of you born on the 16th day of the month. Joy, yes, again. You, you are very glowing here. I mean, look at this yellow, yellow energy. Very glowing. Remind me of the pirate's uh, crystal over here. As I do will, so mote it be. Let joy and light radiate from me. You radiate joy. People love it. People secretly admire about your, um, you know, personality. People secretly admire how you can bring joy, how you can, um, you know, pour joy into connection. Wherever you go, you know, when you joining the parties, when you joining the group, hey, that's the great time. All right. That's the party when group number two is here. You're very joyful. Some of you named joy. All right. Um, that's very beautiful. Group number two. Sorry, group number two. Yeah. What do people secretly admire about you, group number two, but want to say? All right. You have released. You let, you're letting go all the limiting beliefs, all the lack mindset, um, you know, you're ending it. You know, you let yourself go and fly freely. You're just like the phoenix here. Very inspiring and bold, very bold. And of course, because of that, you are the source of inspiration for other people that come after you. You know, you become the guidebook here. <laughs> You have here wise counselor. Not surprised, you will be a great wise counselor for other people. Some of you born on the 13th day of the month or in May or on the 5th day of the month or 13, 13, 5, 5, 5, life path 5, life path 3 could be your number as well. And there is this... Um, there is this royal regal energy and there's this noble air around you. People want to respect you. You're very respectable. At least people will think twice to be as you or to disrespect you, you know, due to your noble counselor air around you. All right. You're very wise beyond your years. Um, you got a lot of experiences and also connection with the spirituality that makes you wise. And you will be a great wise counselor if you plan to be wise counselor, advisor, all right, in the future, teacher, guru, mentor, coach, all right, like uh, professor, counselor, advisor, lawyer, doctor, or people that people, you know, that other people come asking advice about beauty advice, you know, nail technician. Um, beauty consultant that's possible all right or hairdresser i also feel that two of fire this is two of ones group number two and you're picking group two 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 so two 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 also could be your angel numbers you are a great partner a great planner very organized and you are someone that people love to have you on their team people love to have you they secretly admire your work ethic um your supportive energy your team player energy all right you are a great team player over here what do people secretly admire about group number two but want to say please
You have here the justice. You bring fairness into connection. You bring the balance. You bring sense of harmony. Some of you probably work in law or social justice, politic, or really care about social costs, human rights, human connection. You really care. There's this thing about you that you will wrap or you will harvest what you planted, and that's always applied to you. Four of Pentacles. People secretly admire how you live in abundance, how you pampering yourself, how you indulging in just um, this um, the goodness of life, you know, or the great things that life has to offer. People love about your lifestyle, your social media post, the way you dress yourself, your you know fashion style, the way you move is just very fabulous, sophisticated style over here. Ten of Swords. People secretly admire how you are very unforgettable. Honestly, you're very unforgettable. It's hard to forget you. I mean, you're very memorable because you're very interesting and there's something unique about you. People love how the energy um, how and how the impact that you give to people. You really leave an, a very long-lasting impact into people's life, right? Group number two. What do people secretly admire about you? Group number two, part one is saying... Okay, I got to already. Queen! <laughs> Hello, my queen. <laughs> my queen, group number two. Not surprised at all. You're truly such a royal here. We talked about this earlier. All right? You truly radiate this regal feminine. Very elegant, very sophisticated. You are very nurturing. You use your power to help people. And people secretly admire that about you. You have your teacher. Yes, yes. This reading is pretty accurate for you, group number two. Letting me know that you truly have this ability to communicate knowledge, to share knowledge, to give people advice, um, you know, and to truly share wisdom. Yes, you're very wise because you are the wise counselor, the wise teacher, professor, guru, mentor for other people in the future. Or you have that energy about you, even to your best friend, to your siblings, to your spouse. You know, you're being trusted. You are being a very trustworthy person. All right, group number two, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this reading, please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family. Happy New Year again to you. May you have a great New Year to you and your family. Um, and also, it's been fun. It's so fun to read for you and it's an honor to have you here. I'm so glad I can accompany you with my videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you and bye-bye. Hi everyone, group number three. Welcome back to my channel with my Princess Tatcha. For this video, we're going to find out what do people secretly admire about you but won't say, alright? Please know that this is just general reading, so please take what resonates. But if you want private reading just for you, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. What do people secretly admire about group number three, but won't say, please? Okay. Oh, you got three. Okay, you got three. The only one that got three um, is you. You have this childhood issue with a fresh start. And you have best with a pleasure very interesting and you also have here psyche with persistence very interesting you know i always said the intention for every time stamps or picture or cards that i use on my video and at this time you're very attracted to group number three right picture number three image number three now i feel that People secretly admire that it's your time to shine, all right? Based on the image, the vibration of group number three. It seems like it's time for you to shine, you know? It's time for you to show your true colors. It's time for you to express yourself fully and authentically and not feeling afraid of the judgment from the world or the people. So people secretly admire your sense of confidence, your glow energy. You're glowing, my dear group uh, number three, and you're blooming. You know, you're coming into your own with assistance 
um, you know, of your angels. You're being recognized by people for your own beautiful soul um, and get ready to blossom because it's just time for you to shine just now. All right, people secretly admire uh, that about you and they just find you to be very interesting. Um, it seems like uh, people try to have that kind of experience that you got, but it's so hard for them because it's just not for them, you know, but for you, it's time for you to shine. Now, this is the Aztec goddess. You are someone that easily let things go. People secretly admire your way of starting new thing. There's this fresh start, new beginning, new cycle. All right, people love that about you. People admire that you are someone that is going to a new cycle, embarking to a new journey. It feels feels so fresh. It looks so fresh. You also someone that look very fresh. The way you look, your haircut, your style, your appearances, it's just very fresh. You are very naturally beautiful. Maybe you don't use a lot of makeup for some of you. Um, you seldom get your nails done, seldom get your hair done. You're just naturally taking care of everything by yourself, all right? Uh, with a proper nutrition, you eat really well. You put lotion and oil on your hair and body for like... a body butter or lotion you know something like that so people secretly admire the way you just appear very beautiful naturally you know it's all about being very natural and you know um with this goddess aztec goddess you're being helped to wash away everything that is not working for you and create a brand new story you know she's guiding you over her rainbow bridge to more uh, abundance grounds the more abundant grounds and people secretly admire your um, desire to start something new your energy to just start over you know getting a new start getting a fresh start but doesn't mean that you're not gonna get to your destination faster you know just because you start later than most people doesn't make you be the last person as well to achieve the goal all right now surprisingly people admire how you're very fast you're just very strategic you it seems like you just decided based on your strategy you never uh, forget who you are you know that you don't have to push certain buttons from people so you know really well how to maintain or mind your own business all right you really know it and with bust this is the egyptian goddess a bust is the goddess of pleasure people secretly admire when you entertain yourself the way you spending time by yourself the way you spending time for vacation the way you post on social media about your vacation your lifestyle um you know your indulgement people love it you are the perfect person to promote travel content restaurant new restaurant new places um you know uh, the trend right now the food um you know the tra the fashion trend you are the trendsetter and you find joy in indulging in that kind of things you see life as a runway exactly you are the model of your own runway you know you walk with proud knowing that you already gave everything that you can to be where you are right now and you never feel shy never even feel guilty for you to feel that you have this desire to experience luxury things to enjoy the luxury things you know to be respected and to be admired and to be accepted for your own choices your own decision when you are decided to pursue your goals all right so that is this thing about your pleasure you never limit people um in w w whichever way and forms you let them be free you let them have fun you know people know their limit you already set the limit since the beginning so there's no this uh, overly controlling person type of thing and people secretly admire that about you but of course they won't say that all right group number um Three. I also have here you with a psyche, with goddess psyche. Goddess psyche is very intelligent, it's very persistent. One thing for sure though, that in life when you want to be fulfilled or feel satisfied with your um, well-being and your happiness, it is important to find that grounded energy. 
you know you're being becoming someone that is very persistent you know you're very resilient you really know how to pursue certain things you really know how to not give up and keep trying keep trying keep doing it people secretly admire your work ethic your attitude towards your hard work some of you are gonna achieve great things in your life but that's because also you deserve it you deserve it because you work hard for it and group number three i have to tell you that in this lifetime your persistence is one of the key that people gonna admire you for because not everyone around your circle not everyone in your office not of everyone in your uh, circle of friends truly have this persistence genuinely persistent energy it's very rare you know and it's not because of your goals but it's just who you are as a person once you're committed to a goal committed to a cause or committed committed with other people um you know to attend other event or whatever it is you're gonna show up you even offer a ride something like that so your heart got no boundaries you know you have a big heart group number three you got a big heart here all right, and you're persistent, your energy towards your desire is something that people secretly admire about. Maybe due to some reasons, they just don't tell this in front of you or they won't say this in front of you. But hey, at least we want to know. We're so curious and it's so fun so far, all right? You have here the diviner divine timing evaluation i feel that this card is here for a reason group number three letting me know that people secretly admire your patient nature you're being very patient you're being tested with a lot of things going on in your life when your effort was not successful but other people seems like they have it all or can finish their job get the job done get the goals done don't worry group number three it means that you about to be in your best year ever it's about to be very successful in the near future and it's just your persistent and patient is being tested may you pass the test and prove that you truly have this divine timing that no matter where you go the divine has you in their hand and know that you are here for good all right you're gonna do good things you're gonna be useful for people and you're gonna be very very good for your life and your career and i feel also with the defined timing here group number three there's this energy about you really just want to evaluate all the connection that you have in life and I feel that there's no doubt about you when you got the detour. You don't doubt yourself. But then again, your spirituality is very strong. People are so inspired by that. Inspired by that. And people secretly admire your attitude towards the detour. When you got a detour, you always know that's defined detour. That it was necessary for you to experience that delay, to experience that rejection, to experience that failure, to experience that detour. Because it is it was necessary for you to experience that in order for you to fulfill your destiny you know god your angels the universe the divine you know um it's already being set up for you to for good all right it's just strategically placing you at the right time at the right place so don't doubt yourself group number three don't doubt yourself because you know you plant these good seeds this is like your good good attitude good uh, work, hard work, you know, effort, prayer, meditation, manifestation, you know, and then it grows. Just because you don't see it yet doesn't mean that it's not there. Doesn't mean that it's not going to grow. It will grow in its own time, in its own defined time. And when the time is there, believe me, you don't want other scenario than what you got already or what you will about to experience in the near future. You'll be so happy and be like, oh, yeah, now I know, you know, I experienced that with my own personal um, story. So that's why I can say that. What do people secretly admire about you but won't say for group number three, please? You have divination. Oh, okay, group number three. I just have to say thank you. Thank you, the divine. Thank you, the divine. Thank you. This reading group number three is pretty strong. It's pretty accurate for you. If you are here, you are on the right group, all right? You are on the right group. I just have to say that. The diviner, divine timing, divination. It's all connected, group number three. Everything that happened in your life, it's all connected for your own good. When you experience heartbreak, that probably also the lesson to teach you how to recognize true love, how to be genuine with other people, how to recognize good people and toxic energy, and how to create the sense of detachment so you will not 
feel attachment to the toxic people toxic energy all right now if you experience love know that that's also um there for you to give you love to teach you a lesson about love you know for you to truly be grateful of your life you know embrace your powers of definition which are especially strong right now you have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity people secretly admire that you are a powerful manifester that you are the powerful magician that you have high intuition i truly relate with this group right truly relate with this group i claim also this reading for me abundance comes easily to me prosperity comes easily to me i'm beautiful i'm smart i'm wonderful money comes easily to me job comes easily to me project comes easily to me I deserve all the good things that is happening in my life right now. I deserve all the good things that will happen in my life and continue will happen in my life in the future. Everything works out well for me in the end. Say that positive things to yourself, group number three, right? I mean, look at this, the definer and divination. Whatever that you planted in the past, it will harvest. It will bloom. You will reap your rewards. You will harvest your fruit of your good work. Don't doubt yourself and don't let other people tell you otherwise because the seeds is growing for you. The seed is growing and grow your faith in God, in the divine. Know that your angels, know that God will help you. You are very highly intuitive here. People secretly admire your intuition and probably you have a connection with the spirituality, with the spiritual world. Maybe you are very religious or have spiritual practices that you believe or you just believe in the higher power for some of you, all right? Wow. <laughs> it's very beautiful, right? Group number three. How? What do people secretly admire about group number three but won't say, please? here dream sweet sleep deep people secretly ad secretly admire your life all right your life is something that they dreamed about now as simple as your style as simple as your job as simple as the way you look the way you carry yourself the way you talk the way you becoming very charming and very magnetic the way you attract a lot of love to you the way you attract a lot of attention to you people dream about it people dream about you for your crush even 45 some of you born um on the fourth day or or the fifth day of the month or you are 45 years old right now or about to be 45 or used to be 45 regardless um sleep that deep and last till more wondrous dreams for days reborn people secretly admire the way you manifest your dreams into reality group number three this is no joke imagination 41 all right some of you probably 41 years old or 444 could be your angel numbers 11 11 or 41 41 you truly have high imagination um, to the point that it works well for you. Even you can make money from imagination, from entertaining people and make other people wonder about the world around them. You have this high fantasy and really are a great storyteller or a really great um, you know, um, actor, actress, you can play in the theater. So if you are considering joining your local theater, go ahead, because I think you have that talent. Or it can also mean that you just have sense of entertainment around you. You know, you're very entertaining. You're very creative. Uh, it doesn't matter what fields that you work uh, right now. You're very creative and you can uh, dig all imagination and inspiration, even got that synchronicities imagination from your sleep you can get new ideas there all right imagination now sets me free divine ones again the card of divine appear three times already all right and three 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 could be your angel numbers the message from the divine you know, that you are here for a reason, to enjoy your life, to be happy, and to truly fulfill your destiny, group number three. All right, group number three. Let me see here. What do people secretly admire about you but won't say for group number three? 
you have here nine of fire you're very passionate people can tell that you love what you're doing you're very protected um, by your angels you know people that try to do your harm they will learn their own lesson you're someone that is so resilient due to your own past experiences i'm so proud of you group number three all right five of air a lot of people try to assess you they try to assess the connection that they shared with you it seems like you know people made a mistake in the past for not treating you right all right they cannot realize that and you have also page of fire i feel that some of you truly have a fire energy in your birth chart or air energy arias leo sagittarius aquarius gemini libra you're very creative again creativity enthusiastic and very motivated you're very motivated to even start the job get the job done and very creative it's just highly creative you have high imagination as well all right you just got hot imagination what do people secretly admire about group number three but want to say? All right. You have here Queen of Pentacles. You are very ambitious. People admire or secretly admire your ambition. Maybe you are one of people that somehow get the goals done you say to your people you say to your friends that you about to achieve your goals or dreamed to do something and you did it you're someone that's gonna make your dreams come true very ambitious also in career or in everyday life very ambitious all right you have also here the king of pentacles when the king and the queen of pentacles coming together you are truly someone with a grounded energy a very powerful earth element capricorn virgo taurus you're very sensual very sexy very sensual very down to earth and very humble people secretly admire your loyalty your dedication your ambition and how you are really good with money with your manifestation or you truly have this talent so if you haven't feel this way take this as a sign for you to practice your manifestation um law of attraction or even just think positive to yourself because you have that talent you have that skills though right and you have also here page of pentacles a very strong pentacles energy um, very reliable people secretly admire how they can come to you and ask you for help and you will help them all right you absolutely will help people that need your help what do people secretly admire about group number three but want to say please all right you have here martyr people secretly admire when you decided to help other people when you are being very selfless you know um but you decided to also prioritize yourself because in the past people just gonna take 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 without you know giving you back without being kind to you and you didn't want to repeat that again all right people also secretly admire that you are the child divine thank you it's four times come on come on group number three this reading is pretty accurate for you the divine 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 ones the diviner with this divine timing and divination all right like it's all coming here with one energy you're very youthful regardless of your age um the secret of you can truly manifest faster i think also the key is to nurturing your inner child because you got this child divine i mean nurturing your innocence following what you like since since you were a kid you know playing games you know have fun and you know uh, be pure and love what you're doing and just find joy in every day you know by doing the things that you love since you were a kid if you love playing games playing board games playing online games playing a doll playing lego it's okay to do it you know it will ignite your inspiration and in return it will be also the source of imagination because you can get imagination everywhere you can draw inspiration everywhere and that's the source of your success that's a source of abundance because some of you truly gonna make even side hustle money from your hobby from your own imagination not even from your hobby from from your own imagination you can create something from your own imagination create a story create a movie create a product create a surfaces you know create the vibes and truly draw people in you're very magnetic all right no wonder you've got a lot of secret admirer here i bet <laughs> all right group number three that's your reading for today please give me a thumbs up you are like the most 
uh, bombastic here with uh, four divine cards appear just for you from the universe, all right? From the divine, from God. Um, I hope that you enjoy this reading. Uh, please give me thumbs up. Please like this video. Um, and if you love this reading, please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family. Happy New Year again to you and your family. May you have a great New Year and a great day. It's been a pleasure and also it's an honor for me to be able to read for you. And I'm so thankful I can come back to you with new video. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you and bye-bye.